What is up, you beautiful people? Today is episode five of the Half Marathon Prep, and today is our first episode of actually running with you all. Now, we're going to get started with my warm up, and today's run is going to be a four mile at a moderate pace. We're gonna be shooting for 8.30 to 8.45, maybe a little bit of nine minute mile pace, we'll see, but that's gonna be our goal for the day. Let's hop into the warm up. Just to fall out the sky, you know, I'm searching high and low. The key to this Friday run is that I'm coming off of my first leg session. So both of my leg sessions, the first one is going to be more strength driven, which was yesterday's session. And then my session on Sunday is one where I'm a little bit more, it's more around strengthening my hips and my, my hamstrings, of course, my calves, but it's not really intense work, I would say. It's sub-maximal loading. I'm trying to work through a fuller range of motion. During the marathon or half marathon prep, I'm not really working to put on more muscle tissue, especially to my lower body. It's really about maintaining overall hip health, lower body health, keeping me in good shape to be able to go through the week's worth of running and getting ready for the, the half marathon run, of course. Really the only thing that's bothered me from yesterday is my, is my adductors. My adductors feel sore. My hamstrings, my glutes, my quads all feel good. It's just my adductors are worrying me just a little bit with how tight they're feeling. So I've gotta be cautious with that as we get into the run today. But as we get rolling, as I start sweating a little bit, I think I'll start feeling pretty good. Normally my back leg is on the ground, but it's soaking wet. <laughs> so we're doing like an, a modified supported version. I'm running, I'm running a little bit harder than I should be. I think it's in part two. This is the first time we ever filmed this. And I definitely want to, you know, look good at this. I don't want to come out here and be like, damn, this dude's out of shape, can't run fast. Why the fuck is he documenting this half marathon prep? It's like, I gotta get out of my own head on that. So I'm gonna walk a little bit, get my heart rate back to a more manageable position for the another <clears throat> two and a half miles we got and get my mind right and not be 
trying to perform as if I'm trying to set a PR just because you guys are watching. I was screwed there for a little bit. I was like 745 mile. I'm like, okay, I can't be doing this shit. We'll hang out for a second. It's so nice, dude. Just a few days ago, I was running on snow. <laughs> running on snow, having to avoid ice the entire time. And when I, when I do walk, trying to get myself a little bit of a break, I give myself an extra like 15 to 20 seconds past the time that I'm in my mind, I'm like, I'm good. Because I'm a little early on that nine times out of 10 because I want to get back to running. I want to I wanna have the best time. I want to do as best I possibly can. But I got to pace myself through this. So that's always just something to keep in mind. This close. Obviously, I, I know. I can't get I've never seen a bird like that, that that close up. So pretty. Such a nice bird. <laughs> Dude, the talons along my finger. I got so close with my phone, I couldn't get good lighting on it. It didn't really give it enough like of its true beauty and color. But pretty bird nonetheless. Pretty bird, pretty, pretty bird. Dumb and dumber. You sold my dead bird to a blind kid? Lloyd, that, that, you, what are you? Petey didn't even have a head. Harry, I took care of it. Pretty bird. Yeah, can you say pretty bird? Pretty bird. Yes, pretty bird. I'm moving faster than I'm supposed to still. I gotta slow down. But I think I'm at, like it says 8.15 pace right this second. Probably around eight and a half or so. Feeling pretty good. I wish I had a bottle of water with me.
All right, that is time. And I'll tell you why. Okay, so today was supposed to be four miles, as I said. I also said that I have a tendency to turn it up more when I'm in front of the camera. And I turned it up the entire time that the camera was on me. And so I ran much faster than I was supposed to. And so, me being smart Alex, not pushed through because I said I was going to do something Alex, is gonna call this at three miles instead of four for the sheer fact of I'm not going to be able to recover enough to hit my session tomorrow if I keep pushing this. So I've got to recalibrate, do a better job tomorrow. And next time we film, I'm gonna actually run at my own pace. That's the reality of the situation. Just being honest with you guys, been a little stretched thin with my work stuff and plus doing this, but it's all important to me. And so I want it, it's all a priority and I'm trying to figure it out. So every day is a new day. Every week is a new week. I'm trying to be better than last week and tomorrow will be better than it was today. Okay, with, with the walking, I ended at 8.55 mile pace. So I'd imagine while I was running, I was probably closer to 8.15 and I stopped to look at that bird for a while. That bird got me. <laughs> I should have definitely pause my watch when I was looking at the bird. That was a beautiful bird though. I've never seen a bird like that, especially that close up. She said, that lady was, said it was a falcon. Yeah, I, I think so. You think so? Yeah, maybe. I have no idea what else it would be. <laughs> Birds that big to me are either, I guess, a falcon or a hawk. And I don't know what the differences between those two are, but those are the only two birds that come to mind that are that big. And it just, I mean, it just sat there. I was like this close to it with my phone. I thought I was going to be like, Kah -kah! gash me. <laughs> oh my gosh.